what one of the Fulani headsmen have got to say. He was found with a bag full of AK-47 rifles. And when you know he was asked to review his sponsors, he said he will die if he release if he releases or reveal the sponsors. That if he releases the name, that is the end. That before they know what is happening, he's gone. So he cannot reveal it. This is what this was his submission. He said he can't reveal it. He can't reveal the identity. The loyalty is impeccable. You can not begin to imagine some of the things that are going on. So you can't reveal. So you can see for yourself some of the things that are happening and some of the things that are going on. You can see for yourself. You know, this guy was intercepted, and what he said was that if he reveals the sponsors, oh, that will be the end. That will be the end. Okay? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. I would die if I reveal my sponsors. Man arrested with bird with bag full of AK 47's rifle. A 25 years old suspect, Agbo and Agbo Ibrahim, has said that he would die if he opens up on his sponsors and the mission they are on. Recall that the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency nabbed him last week in Ondo State with incriminating items. He was arrested with a body bag with full of weapons. One of such was AK-47, other shots, rifles, and the other pump action, 41, 91 bullets, and or 5.56 millimeters 16 cartridges cash of 347,000 cash was found in ali he was arrested with a bag of all these things ali who spoke with the newsman with the newsman says with the newsman said that the would have said when he was with nda when he was paraded said i cannot tell you my sponsors i know you want to know but you can't hear that from me and my mission, why we are in Ondo State, if I reveal, that is the end for me. Those who sent me, I cannot make it known to you. I cannot reveal to you my mission or those who have sent me. If I do that, that is my end. When asked why he decided not to take the bag to the police after knowing the content, the man claimed that um, he was just in Ondo State doing his own business. I saw the bag in the bush where I was walking and looking after my cows. I saw a nylon and I used it to wrap it. I did not know what was inside. Only for police to hold me at the at the intercept at the junction and be asking me what I am carrying. So it says he found these things on the bush. The suspect, when arrested, he said that um, they were in Okitupupa on their way. That's in the Ondo State. He said that he was given these things by some men. His statement sounds very incoherent as he was giving different narrative as to why he had different thing. he had this item on them at one point in time he said he was given to him by some sponsors at another point in time he said these things he found them by the bush so the words were not correlating quite well and people are wondering so what next so people are wondering what next and it was found in ondo state in the kutikupa and people are wondering you know so what do we do how do we come out of this you know, it was in Ondo State as well. We found a number of people who came, you know, and are trying to, you know, trying to enter into the state. And Amutekun as well has been on top of it. You know, so there are issues here and there. There are real issues here and there. There are things not going on well. There are things happening that Nigerians need to pay attention to. Okay? So we need to be careful. We need to be very careful. I mean, these times that we are in, there are all kinds of people who are, I mean, secure, we have to be security conscious. All kinds of people are parading themselves and doing whatever they want to do. And the truth of the matter remains that we must, we must now take a position, okay? And we must not allow manipulation because if they, if they, by the time they announce that, oh, a northerner has been caught in the south with a bag full of weapons because he had double statement. He was saying he found the, the bag in the bush close to where he was 
bearing his cow another place again he said um he, he, he cannot reveal his sponsors because he will be killed i mean so there are all kinds of words being said before you know it gary Bashe from the north will release a statement saying uh, they don't have a right to send fulani out so these are some of the things you know, causing great security threats that we are all facing in this country and the truth of it is that we cannot afford okay to pretend that these things are not happening it's teaching time the englishman says save nine so we must nip it at the ball we must not allow it to thrive to continue to become what will become a problem for us all you know so these people are moving all around and doing whatever they are doing but we need to be on top of it we all need to be on top of it we all need to ensure and make sure that we are doing what is absolutely right and necessary so at the end of the day okay these people who are coming to cause security threats in our neighborhood in our in our area we do not give them opportunity you know amutekun have been on top of the game has been apprehending some of these people but is amutekun is i mean amutekun is trying his best but is that enough most states have been advocating for state policing the federal government has blatantly refused because they know what they are getting Buhari is going about celebrating and, and you know, doing well for Nigeria Republic, leaving his very own country. In case you are not aware, he, have, he approved one point something billion for Nigeria Republic to, uh, government to buy cars. Yes, this man has come to destroy Nigeria like he did back in the 80s. Sad that Nigerians did not see it. And the truth of it is that as a man, you can only see today, you don't know tomorrow. And that's why it is good for us to also look at it and ask God to help us. To make the right candidate, to make the right candidate, the, you know, the desired one. Otherwise, there will be real issues and problems in the country. We can't afford to to have these issues and this problem, you know, being instigated as us all again. I mean, enough is enough. Enough is enough. They say word is enough for the wise. So let's make let's let's do the right thing. Let's not allow these people to castigate us and cause all forms of harm and trouble for us. In the name of the name of the fact that they are leaders shamefully we've already picked them some of them we did not pick them anyway they were imposed on us by either law lawyers or whatever but right now we have a choice to make this difference please remember that every one of us have got a duty to contribute meaningfully to ensure that nigeria becomes a safe place for us all okay leave us a comment please don't forget to give us a thumbs up Please like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.